Good morning, Sean Moffitt. We're here on December 8th. The year is 2023 on our current calendar that's mostly widely adopted on Earth. We're here for the GSG, the Grace Swan Guild Book Festival, our second annual book festival. I'm joined by my co-founder of the Grace Swan Guild, Sean Moffitt. I am Rob Tyree, and I'm excited, Sean. Good morning. Good morning. This uh, this always has the uh, the joyous aspiration of a few tw uh, what twelve hours worth of activity. But uh, I love this group of people just because uh, having written a couple of books myself, just to have the the absolute temerity to actually get to the point where you're going to write a book and then actually doing it and then actually then throwing it out to the world for their scrutiny requires a. Uh, a certain type of person. So uh, we've got, I think, 12 of them lined up today. So I'm looking forward to this. Well, I love the number 12, of course, because it's a magic number. Divisible by four, divisible by three, divisible by six. There's probably cults around the number 12. Maybe there's even a whole idea of astrology around the number 12. But we actually have more than 12 authors, right? We've got certainly a lot of our guests are authors and, and writers, uh, and uh, some of our books are compendiums. Like the Uncertainty book from the Grace Wong Guild itself is a compendium of over... Yeah, I guess in total, when you consider some of the uh, books that were on the slate, there's more than 100 authors represented here today. So you're right. You're right. We are standing on the shoulders of many giants. That's great. So we're gonna we're gonna start uh, today. Um, we've got lined up. We've got Doyle Bueller coming at us at eight ten. We're just warming up right now. We're gonna talk a little bit about the book festival and what's coming up, and uh, how this is a commercial going forward for the sponsors of what we do. And Raven Bay Consulting is our main sponsor of the book festival this year. And um, I'm gonna just flip over to this slide. And welcome, everybody. Uh, we are the Grace One Guild. Sean, uh, why don't we cover uh, the six major parts of the guild, why we're here, what we do, and then I'll flow into the book festival. Yeah, it's interesting. So we're coming up to our fourth year of existence. This is almost like an Olympic cycle. We started in a pandemic, and over time, we've added different branches to what we do, both intelligence, content, events, training networking and experiments. Uh, and when you look at today, I think we'll actually cover off, even though this is an event and an experience, we'll probably cover off each one of the six parts of our wheel. But essentially, everything that we do tries to make better sense of the world. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen today. Yeah, the uh, it's been a four-year journey. And every year is different. Every quarter is different. Uh, the people that we uh, cover, we've got over 8,000 members in the guild now. We were looking back at what we were at at 2021. We were about 1,000 back then, and that's 400% growth in people interested in writing together, doing events together, and creating a better place. That's what our job is. This is the schedule that we're going to run uh, and be begin with the... Uh, Yes. That we're going to run. Uh, we're going to start at uh, with Doyle Bueller uh, is in Europe today, uh, and uh, then also our our former representative in uh, the Pacific. Uh, then we're going to switch over to Ken Hubble, and there is an AI in team. Uh, and then Ralph, uh, we we're discussing things last night uh, with causal layered analysis, a thirty year journey in what's going on. So we've got this schedule, and uh, as we go through, we'll be uh, stopping, and uh, for each author or writer or group, um, there'll be interactive portions to the show. So each is different but similar as we go through. But the thread that we're doing in the festival this year is about futures because we're always about future thinking. It's about sense making because we're always about sense making. But there is uh, certainly an AI thread through this, no surprise. The biggest surprise to me is that the time person of the year is not ChatGTP or an AI. Is it really Taylor Swift, Sean? <laughs> was that was that just a rumor that she's the person of the year? I know she's yeah. she is always. 
as I've tried to convince most of my uh, my gentlemen friends, uh, we will look at Taylor Swift twenty years from now, like uh, most of us look at the Beatles. Uh, just uh, she's a she's a force of power for sure. I, I you know I, I've been a skeptic, Sean, but I am swiftifying myself. That's next <laughs> year's word. So here, here's a, a few uh, where we're starting, uh, and and Doyle is going to go through a uh, breakthrough. Then we've got uh, Ken joining us to talk about uh, personal impacts of AI at the individual level inside your organization. And we've got uh, Ralph coming in at nine thirty. Are we going to go through all these um, and uh, relevant sides? So some. Can we just stop a second? When you conceived the uncertainty book, because it was your conception, what were you thinking when you started that project uh, that was part of Cygnus Publishing? And where were you going with that? Yeah, I, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, I, I will take credit where credit is due, but uh, certainly I think the uh, the label uncertainty, which dominated a lot of what we did in the guild this last year. Um, uh, was a function of many people coming together on that. I think when somebody mentioned it in a meeting in October, it was like, it was like the pin dropped. It's like, that's the thing we got to do. Uh, and so a little bit of a preview for what we'll talk about later, um, kind of much later in the day, but we're going to talk about the second edition of this book, but we're also thinking about what is the next guild book that we're going to do collaboratively together. We're not going to announce it today, but certainly we're going to leave some breadcrumbs, but I, I just find the more I get into the topic of uncertainty, the more I go, this is the most underrated, unobserved, overlooked, and underanalyzed part of our world. And it either cripples us or it catalyzes us to action. So we thought it was a really good time investment spent. Heisenberg would be proud. Of course he would. So Sean, before we get uh, going with, uh, with uh, Doyle, Bueller, I want you to give us one word on the mission today, together with everybody watching now or recorded in the future. The Grace Wong Bill Festival, a collection of intelligence, a collection of writers, creators. What's the one word that we should take through this day? Okay. Um, it is caliber. When I meet authors, when I speak to authors, when we have a forum like this with authors, I find that whatever they've written about, um, they're usually the most informed person in the world, particularly as they've just had their ink dry on their book. So I'm looking for a deep, deep caliber of knowledge and insight exchange. I've got my uh, notebook ready here for every type of zinger and observation that some of our authors make. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Rob, same question back to you. I'm going to go with consilience. Consilience. Consilience is a word conceived and promoted by E.O. Wilson, and it was his mission call to bring together all the disparate sciences back into one science as they started. And he thought that that would be uh, a way of achieving world peace and harmony, consilience. And I think the book festival is about consilience. I like it. Okay. So, Doyle, I'm going to stop this share and then i'm going to stop the recording <laughs> and then i'm going to go are you able to add back sharing uh